Hey guys, Jack Frost here today. Today I'm going to give you a tutorial on how to level up your pet and um, I'm going to give you a few tips. Now I got my pet to Epic in two days. It was this one right here actually. Um, Got this guy to Epic in two days. Or it's a girl, what, well it doesn't really matter. Anyway, um, first let me go over a few tips. I just got this guy right here and I'm going to level him up to Mega um, later on but um, anyway. People say your talents are based on, um, on the snacks you feed them. That is not true. Um, that's a myth, guys. And uh, your talents are based on uh, the pet you hatched with and your um, your uh, the timeline of the pets you hatched with. Basically, if it's it's a first generation pet, then it's already gonna have the pre talents King Zile has given them. But um. Let's say I let's say this um this pet had Death Giver before I got um the pre line of this pet like the pet I had before I got this pet it had Death Giver. Well, Death Giver could be somewhere in there, guys, from the other from the um th from the pet I hatched with, or it could be um the previous pet that I had because sometimes it goes down the traits, you know. Um, I think Death. I'm not sure what Death Giver is. That the rare talent? I'm not really sure. My old one had Death Giver, so this pet, this had a chance of getting pet, um, Death Giver. I think maybe because I did have a few times, so it may be out of the talent pool. But anyway, I'm gonna tell you how to level up your pet in two days. Um, so yeah. But first, before we do that, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you guys what snacks to use if you're running low on gold. So I'll meet you guys in the bazaar. Alright guys, here I'm in the bazaar. Now, I'm a little bit low on gold right now, considering I spended a lot of my gold on snacks. And I just hatched, by the way. I had like 40,000 gold, but I just hatched. Anyway, so, the snack you want to go for is Glowing Starfruit. It gets 2 power, and power is kind of hard to find in snacks, so this helps. 2 power, 2, sp two um, strength, and 2 elect. Wait, no, that's not elect. What is that? <laughs> it's like the only one I never even need, so that's why I forget it. Elect. Yeah, that's elect. I was right. Um, so yeah, you want to buy the glowing star fruit over here in the bazaar. Um, come on, yeah. And if you have a lot of gold, if you're one of those like Azteca wizards who have like 100,000 gold, here's what you want to go for. Um, they, if they even have it, fire passion fruit. It's, it's something like that. Yeah. Um, eggplant. No, that's a rip off. You can easily get it for 240 by by getting the glowing star fruit. Glowing, yeah, glowing star fruit right there. So yeah, you wouldn't buy this snack if you have, if you're like a low level wizard or whatever, or if you just need to save money. You, you can get, um, so this gives six experience plus the four points you get from the mini game. That's ten experience. However, I know there was a snack over here that really gives a lot. No, that's a rip off, obviously. That's okay. No, that's too much for you. You don't want to spend two thousand gold, guys. All right, that's too much. Um. I know it was like, it's called Fire Passion Fruit. I guess it's not here right now. Yeah, it's in the F section. Yes, I know. But, yeah. There's none right now, I guess. Yeah, here it is. Fire Passion Fruit. It gives, um, yeah, 7 experience. So, um, it gives 3 power, 2 elect, and 2 will. So, here's another snack for you high-level wizards out there. If you have a lot of gold to spend, it gives 1 extra point. Now, I'm going to tell you guys how... To level up your pet in two days. Once you have the snacks, guys, you want to farm over and over. Um, here's what you're gonna do. Gosh, this is kind of hard to explain, but um, what you want to do, uh, yeah, what you want to do is um, you want to transfer all your uh, once you use all the energy. Here's what you want to do. I'm gonna teach you guys. You know what? Here, let me let me use all my energy first. I want this to be a real example for me, so I'll be I'll come back to you guys when I use all my energy, and I'll meet you guys back here. All right. So as you can see, I used all my pet energy, and it's halfway to well, more than halfway to teen. So what you want to do right now is this is by the way, this is how to get your pet to, to Evig in two days or less. You want to put your pet in the shared bank. So let's do that right now. Uh, yeah. Share bank. Make sure it's not in your bank. Make sure you don't put it in the trash by accident. <laughs> if you do, then just message King's Eye really quick, and they'll put it back for you. Um, now, what you want to do is also put the snacks in your shared bank. So let's do that right now. Um, glowing star fruit. So yeah, just keep doing it.
Alright, okay, I think that's enough. One more, though. Okay, yeah, there you go. So now what you want to do is you want to quit and make a new wizard. Now, if you don't have a new wizard slot, I don't know what to say. Like, but you need a new wizard to do this. Aha! Oh, well, head answer these questions to find out what type of my vision yeah, is. Yeah, it doesn't matter if you're a girl or boy or whatever. All right then. What is your name? All right. Well, head. Yep. All right. Now, what you want to do is you want to pick up the quest. Welcome. And please deliver this letter to Private Stills. All right. Here's the hard part. Gate. He will let you through. You can use the yellow. You, have just you want somebody to port you into the Ravenwood, you into the dorm dormitory. Well, just try to find somebody to put uh, to get you into Ravenwood. Here's how I do it. I'm gonna go right now. Um, I'm gonna, I'll meet you guys back here, but um. I'm gonna go um, get one of my friends from my other file and tell her, tell her to add me on here. All right, so I'll be right back. All right, guys. So I found somebody. Um, special thanks to Destiny Sunstone. She's actually my friend of my other file. I just went on my other file and told her to add me in my other file. So you could do that, by the way. Okay. Now what you want to do is hold on. Let me tell her. Go to. All right. Here, um, we'll talk about that later. So, what you want to do? What you want to do is go into your dormit dormitory. So, in this case, it's this one right here. And what you want to do is get the uh, get the pet, obviously. So, um, there it is, right there. So, and you also want to get the snacks. So, okay, all of these, I guess. Yeah. So there we go. That's enough, I guess. And this one, yeah. All right. So once you have all the snacks, so what you want to do is go go to the commons really quick. Okay, we can't right now, obviously. So um, here's what you want to do. You have your snacks and everything. Your pet energy is zero because once you um once you put your pet in your account from the shared bank or a bank, it's gonna um it's gonna take all your energy away. So here's what you do. You know that quest we got earlier, right? Well, as soon as we talk to the private Stilson guy, it's gonna level, level us up. So that means we have energy. And, yeah. So, that's obvious. Can you guys know what that means? Um, she's in the pet pavilion right now, but I'm, we'll put her in a second. Nice! Looks legit! Alright. I'll let you pass. Show this to private comp. Why did I make a girl character? Well, it doesn't really matter, but anyway. So talk to, uh, yeah, private Conley. Be careful going farther down you you're a rock. we would be honored see you use your look guys we have pet energy now so once you find somebody us. to port you in the pet pavilion your friend or whatever all right so thank you destiny so we want to mark location over here because we're gonna come back here later because we can still live up by defeating a few um ghosts and then doing something else so see you guys look it works this is how you get unlimited pet energy, pretty much. See, guys, it works. That's how you do it. So, hold on. I'll just do one more game with you guys. Yeah. I always do the dancing game. It's the easiest one, anyway. In my opinion. Okay, come on. It has to be the easiest one. I think the hardest one is the cannon one. Cause I, I I I always get like the black or blue. Okay, I don't want to mess up here. All right, there we go. Uh, five done. Uh, yeah, it doesn't really matter. Just give it any snack. So I'll come at you guys when I use all my pet energy. Okay guys, so there we go. I just used all my energy. I'm back here in Unicorn Way. My pet got fairy. That's good so far. I'm trying to get triple ice damage. And by healing curry, I might get that instead actually. And then I one talent would be left out. But anyway, um once you do that, you want to do the quest um this guy gave you over here and you want it takes about 3 quests to level up 
from my experience so uh, it should only take like 10 minutes not too long so I'll meet you guys when I do those three quests alright guys so there we go I just leveled up and I have my pet energy refilled so yeah like once you level up like I said earlier you get your pet energy refilled so yeah um, I'm gonna go back to leveling on my pet and yeah so it should be a deal after I do this one more time however I'm running out on snacks and gold considering I just hatched earlier today but um yeah guys that's basically how you do it and I'll be back to you guys when I'm done using my energy it only took me like two quests but uh yeah whatever all right guys so I just used all my energy I'm almost a dough actually I just need to buy a few more snacks so anyway I mean you don't need to use snacks you can do it over and over but that's gonna take a while so put it in your shared bank alright make sure it's not your bank make sure it's your shared bank it says move to your bank but it should say shared bank because you don't want to confuse people but whatever um I do have a few snacks left, you know what, whatever, that counts, I guess. So, yep, yeah, there we go. And, alright guys, so I'll meet you guys on Jack. Wish no, I can do that right now. So, yeah. Okay, okay, alright, good. I want to make sure it's my Jack character or somebody else now. Okay, so, go back on Jack. And there we go, um... Hold on. Yeah, there we go. Okay. And then pick up your your pet. Okay, alright. <laughs> I still get kind of stressed because I'm like, wait a minute, did I even do it? <laughs> alright. So yeah, I got fairy. Uh, no, not that. Actually, no, we'll keep that. I feel guilty if I throw it away. So yeah, I got fairy. So I'm trying to get ice giver and crap. And see, ice pain giver is like right here. And I know this one right here is either ice dealer because I it, the, one of them is a common talent, the damage one. So and here's fairy. And I hope one of these is healing boost. I mean healing current. We don't want healing current, okay? Fairy's enough. Cause see, I hatched with with this right here. But anyway. Right now, oh yeah, by the way, uh, special thanks to, uh, what was his name, Wolf? Yeah, Wolf. Dang it, Wolf, what? It was, it was right here. Oh, there it is, there it is, okay. It's down here somewhere, Wolf. Yeah, Wolf, Ice Heart for hatching with me. But yeah, there's what I hatched with right there, so, so, now I'm going to tell you guys how to get the pet you want. So first of all, um, what you need to do is once you want to train your pet to adult, right? And let's say you're trying to get um, I'll take my next example here. If my you see my pet right now, right? How it has fairy. Well, let's say it got pain giver, which is the one right here, plus six percent attack universal, the one that doesn't have ice. Well, let's say at um at ancient I get Pippo plenty. There's a chance if I hatch when I'm an adult, I have fairy and pain giver which is one of the two talents he has if I hatch with him again there is a chance that I'm not gonna get Pippo Polini there's a chance I'm gonna get all his talents that he has in mine and since we have the both both of the same talents then there's a high high chance that I'm gonna have um every talent he has so yeah that's a good way to level up your pet it's called making sure you don't fail is when you're an adult and you hatch again just to make sure and you keep on training the same pet however in this case i know i'm most likely going to get healing current so i want to i want to hatch with him one more time um but yeah i need to hatch with him uh my other pet because he said he'll hatch with me if i hatch my bear claw with his other pet which i would do i just need to get some gold so yeah guys that's basically how you uh level up your pet fast and now I'm gonna level up this guy to a doe. Oh my gosh, I love this guy. He's adorable. <laughs> um, yeah. Anyway, guys, uh, thank you for watching. Um, let me know if you guys have any more questions. And special thanks to um, uh, Destiny Sunstone for uh, helping me uh, teleport to the pet pavilion in Ravenwood. So, all right, guys. So yeah, let me know if you have any more questions. And bye. So, yeah. <laughs> all right, guys. Bye.